can't believe it. I'm unemployed. Let's go. This was a long day. I'm so tired. Look at all these masks. Well, let me use this time to explain to you my background, what happened before and what is going to happen next. Here we are, we're going to the study pass. Today is probably one of the happiest days since I came back home. So I'm really, really happy because this means that the next step is real. Like the next step is happening and uh, hopefully everything will go well or at least as planned. But it's happening. The plan now is to go home, move out of the house, get the luggage ready because tomorrow I'm going to Greece. Let's start from the fact that I've always traveled and love to travel. So this is part of me. So I'm Italian and during my life I had the chance to live in two different countries, which is obviously Italy, this is the third one, but then Netherlands and California and US. I loved these experiences. They allowed me to grow and change at a point where I didn't really want to stay in Italy anymore. Last year, when I came back from US, I was uh, supposed to move again and go to Spain. Long story short, that didn't happen. I decided to not go and to stay in Italy and look for a job in Italy. I found a job right away and I decided to start and jump in the work life of Italian standard average man. And I soon figured out I didn't really like it. I don't really want to talk about that part of my life because I really don't want to seem like I don't appreciate what I've done or the company that I've worked for. And it's not true. It's just that that job was definitely not the right one for me. So I was not happy. So after a few months in January, I started to look for a way to go back to US. So after a few months, a few applications and a few tests, etc., I got accepted with a scholarship in a master degree in San Francisco. I will talk about this section more specifically in probably in the next video. So for a few months, no one knew that I was planning to leave, but I was. So the 29th of July, I left my job and I had one month to leave with the people that I know here and that I'll miss before I leave again for I don't know how long. So the best way for me to say goodbye to the people that I have here in Italy before my departure is to spend time with them. So I catch flights and I drove miles to just spend time with them. We're going to the Stelvio Pass by Vespa. Uh, I'm not alone, so I'm shy.
right after I came back on Friday morning, no, actually Friday at 4 p.m. And uh, at 9 p.m., I got my car and I went to the sea to join my friends who were there already. I really didn't shoot many videos because we were enjoying our time. Until the last day, that was yesterday, we went to the beach in the afternoon to just spend some time there with the sunset and then we got pizza and I brought all my camera gear because I was like, I really, really want to film this because I know the colors are beautiful and I love that scenery. So all my idea was I will just sum up this trip with these few clips of that night because the colors are so beautiful that that would be worth it and I really want these clips. So I brought my camera, I took a few pictures, and I maybe took a few videos, and after like five to 10 pictures, my camera fucking broke. And I'm so mad. The camera broke down, but I would try to shoot anyway something. Ah, <sighs> Jesus, and tomorrow is holiday, so everything is closed for like the next week in Italy and I called every repair shop and no one could fix it. So I went to, I went on Craigslist and I bought this camera because this will like, we say in Italy cover my ass, but that means that this will allow me to at least complete the jobs that I've started here, complete the jobs that I have to do during these two weeks. And then I'll probably bring my broker camera to the repair shop during the next week, see if they can fix it. If not, which probably they will not, I will bring my broken camera to US and then I will try to fix it there because I really, really love that camera much more than this one. Today is the 14th of August, tomorrow is a big holiday in Italy, so I'm going to camp and uh, go for a hike with my friends. experience will change me and uh, I will miss Italy and the people that I have here a lot more than uh, the last few times that I've been away. So not knowing when I'm coming back makes it harder. I'm not someone that miss people but I'm getting old and I see that and I feel it. In the next video I don't know what I'm gonna talk about but let me know if you have any question. This is probably not the best way, but it's the one that I chose to achieve my goal. And uh, it's better to choose and risk rather than sleep and fail. I don't think this phrase is, is meant to be, but I like it. Okay, see you in the next one.